Shadow of Judgment. Hello. What is Shadow of Judgment for any of you who are new? It is where I take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. What is under the subconscious? What might be secret? What might you kind of know, but you have no proof for? Or even possibly what you're up to. Shadow of the Judge is where you look at your shadows. We're going to see who the next sign is to be looked up. Which of the signs is coming up? Is it air or is it fire? There it is. Alright kids, it's your turn. Gemini's, you're up first. Good deal. Hope y'all are having a lovely day today. Remember, air signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So look at your stuff accordingly. Yes? Yes. Good deal. Hope y'all are having a wonderful time anyway. And always remember, this is just a card game. Don't take it serious. That's y'all. And that is not y'all. Um, okay. Might be dealing with a fire sign, Jill and I. We got you looking back at something, trying to gather information about possibly what happened back in the day. Um, the Queen of Wands right here, she's looking at the sleep of faith and it's like, nah, -uh, I don't, it's cool, I'm good. I'm good. I don't feel like going anywhere near there at this point in time. That sounds like my car. That is my car. There we go. Yeah, someone's waiting. You might be waiting to cut someone's head off if they're inquisitive enough on your journeys and travels. Kind of doing a little spy action right here. Yeah, I think that's my husband. Let's see. King of Swords Reverse. That could be you as well. You also could be a, dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra Gemini. I don't know why. I just suddenly felt sleepy, but I think it's just because I eat a sandwich. Oop. Okay. Ah, okay. Boop. Boop. Yeah, that's my baby. Let's see, got the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. Boop. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. Hey, baby. Boop. Boop. And. Beep. Okay. Mm. Gemini, what have I got for you? Alright, so let's say that you're over here looking back, seeing if anyone's waiting for you. But you're not letting anybody know that, so it's kind of like you're slinking off to your happiness, right? You might get caught up in something, though. Because this dude's reverse, but that happens. Um... Someone is sitting pretty on a throne, but it's like in the house, there might be an unfaithful spouse or might be an ungrateful um, person, possibly an overbearing mother. It's like weird because like Queen of Wands is like a very like young and vivacious person. The Queen of Pentacles is like a really old, mature woman, so to speak. But it's like in the house, it's like there's just not any sort of meshment right here and someone kind of feels like they got to move forward with that because they don't want to take a step forward possibly with you or a Libra or an Aquarius who has an offer right here but they got a bad attitude they might not they actually this could be you having a bad attitude because this person isn't stepping forward the way they're supposed to and that's probably why you feel like you gotta sneak off, but it's like... You still manage to get to your happiness, but it's like... 
it almost feels like someone is going to um, come forward anyway, despite the fact that that offer is there. They might even go out the door, away from the offer. Well, that's your judgment, Gemini. Now we get to move on to Libra. Let's see what your shadow says about you. is going to pop up for you. We have uh, someone played some games and then they lost. And let's see, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, Reverse. Like she's looking all Fatal Attraction Glenn Close at that cup. Like um She's too into her feelings about it. And somebody wants to try to manifest something right in the center. That's the motives of what's going on. Hmm. Let us see Libra. Swords reverse. Ugh. What other shadows are you lurking in? Oh, there's more. Right on the floor. Uh, trying to be able to move forward with your stuff. Stuck in your head. Could be dealing with a Leo. Trying to hold out for strength's sake. At the floor. Okay. Boop. And boom. Okay. Libra, this is your shadow, right? So someone played some fuck fuck games with other people's heads, like manipulator, but they won the battle but lost the war because people started walking away from them. Um, out of the choice to get out of this bad headspace where they felt trapped by shit, right? Because it's almost like to stay in this, like, Thing right here would be a terrible idea. But over here, it feels like whatever they were trying to manifest and move forward with and try to work with others on, it's like that's the side where the cups are spilt. Because over here, we got a queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as a page of swords over here, which could be you, Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius who is really in their feelings, probably not in the best way, are feeling quite vindictive, but they're using, like, I, they're, they're either vindictive against Leo, or they're holding back for now, like, shh, it's not time yet. You know, it's like one of those things where it's like, it's really, like, fatal attraction, Glenn Close kind of creepy, right? Right. That's what I'm kind of getting for you. Actually, I'm going to pull one more because it's like... Y'all's are always like a murder mystery when I read for y'all. It's so interesting. Or a thriller. Oh, I actually got three. A uh, separation between somebody and it's like... Someone has to look back at what's happened in order to fix their broken heart at some point. Something to do with this right here. 
I don't know. But that's your shadow for this week, Libra. Aquarius. Time for your shadow. You weird little aliens, you. Let's see what's going on in your world. What kind of shadows are around you? Uh, want to get what you wish for, but not thinking about the hubris because you're very much involved with the relationship from the past. Okay. Okay. I love you. Then we have a victory right here, right? I think you want a victory with this person, but I think it's like a wish out of um, what used to be instead of like what can be. Yeah, because this person might be feeling left out in the cold, like they have to walk away. Instead of like, deal with you Aquarius. Y'all keep dealing with people. Yeah, it, 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 like, okay, if you let this person back in and be a victor and celebrate that shit. Hubris is straight up arguments. Petty shit. Tit for tat. Sorry, I needed a drink. It's like, there's nothing even anything behind the curtain, because you already know what the hell is there. Pettiness. Like, bitches want to be petty. <laughs> you know? Like, uh. All of these bitches is petty. 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 I don't know. Like, it's just... That's what I feel like. I think you know that this person will be... Yeah, because, like, I did your bonus reading, and it was just kind of like, hmm... Don't you trust this idiot? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, straight up, straight up. Yeah, the, it, completely. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you are. You already know how this is gonna go, even before I laid these cards out. Yes, move on from that shit. Move on from this tower. Don't. Oh lord. You guys got a person who's just gonna drag you nuts. Um, come here, cards. Possibly with a Sagittarius right here. Separation for sure between two people spiritually left. On a spiritual level. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, okay. Alright, Aquarius, yeah, so I think you already understand what's happening in this reading, right? And I'm gonna just leave that right there. Just where you can look at it, right? Now, you know that back in the day, this was like somebody who you basically almost had to take care of all the time, and it was just kind of like, you always going back because a woman's leading a friend. I feel like it might pertain more to females than it does males. No offense. I'm just reading out what I see. Right? I feel like it's more like a female who was the one always going back to this person to try to fix things, but it was out of a form of insecurity and some indecision, which still lies right here. But it's like, you know, if you, if you gallop back in with this person or. Or, if you feel like, um, and cross watchers alike, of course, if you feel like you're victorious, but then the tower comes in, and there's some separation. It could be separation from a Sagittarius, or just this realization that you guys are actually split up, right? But, there's nothing behind the curtain. But all you would get was arguing, so you might as well just move on anyway. Hey, I mean, they'd be pettiness. Like, everyone would end up being petty.
Which is not a good look for everyone, honestly. Let's see. Oh, actually, we're done. I don't know what the hell we're doing. Yeah. Totally is about to go into another one. Anyway, um, so if you want a personal reading, my email is down below. Well, no, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna edit this anyway. Um, thank you for watching my video very much. If you would like a personal reading, my email in the description box is, wait, my email is down in my description box below because I can't talk. Um, I don't charge, but I normally take tips and tips and donations through my PayPal. Thank you for watching once again. Um, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure. I love y'all's faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.